If there's any benefit that you can see for the guys playing on the East Carolina rules, like what can they get out of it and take from it and try to grow from? It? Well, offensively, aggression. Aggression is huge when you can go up and knowing that if you take a strike, you out. Usually, if you're oh, county, kind of like take a pitch outside, let it get there, kind of read it a little bit. But here, you got you got to swing at it and get fouled off or something. So it's a, it's a little different. The pitcher's advantage for sure. I just didn't want to look like an idiot striking out looking for first pitch. It's something new that our kids aren't used to having a two-strike approach, and they have to learn how to do that. Will help them better in this situation. You can't look at a pitch here to see movement or whatever. You have to go out there and be able to uh, swing. That can only help the guys be able to even get a keener kind of an eye. In a case like this, where you're dealing with the, the talent level that we have here, some of the best high school players in the country, you're getting the premium talent uh, to test uh, this model, if you will. They're looking at this a little bit different and how they have to be aggressive. Really being uh, conscious of making quality pitches, uh, getting ahead also then at the end to finish a hitter, is utilizing your best stuff to make sure that you get that out as quickly as possible so we can speed the game up. Three hours, I guess I'm averaging the majors, two hours and 45 minutes in the minors. What's really important is that we get the input from coaches, uh, the, the players, the umpires, and the fans, and, and then, uh, you know, build from that. Uh, obviously, everything that we're implementing here today um, you know, won't be implemented long term. We'll make adjustments and, and, and see how it goes from there. And we're just blessed to be put in this situation. A lot of these guys on their way back home talking about their experience this weekend and I think it's going to get a lot of buzz throughout the baseball community. It's special because they picked some of the best teams in the country to perform an experiment basically and who knows half of us might be playing the same roles in the minors in a few years.